Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Well, I'm up here at the studio again today, man, because, uh, gotta keep flying, dude, because there's no net, right? So, um, today's a good day, dude. I had a cool night last night, man. I just hung out with the mini Graham. We played the game of life and uh, baby owl. And, uh, you know, the hologram went to work last night, did her thing. And so, you know, we just had a cool, cool evening around the house. And uh, it's always nice, man. It's always nice. Get it into perspective, right? So I'm up here at the shop, man. I'm making, uh, making progress, dude. Making progress. So, here, hold on. This is the uh, this is the one I I finished up that was a special order, man. I got I went subtle. It's for a con uh, it's a, for a concert poster. Ironically, for the uh, North Dakota anti North Dakota Access Pipeline concert that was in Washington or something. I think so. That's kind of cool. I, I'm sort of stoked how it came out. I was trying this new uh, inlay. I made a jig and. Uh, did the new little inlays on there. So I'm kind of stoked on that. That came out pretty nice. You know what I'll tell you, dude? I was, uh, I was uh, making that frame, right? And I go kind of salvage glass. Like I go troll thrift stores and just buy super cheap big frames just for the glass because it's like, a third the price plus there's hardware on the back of the frame so it's like a full full little salvage right you know upcycling it all dude cuz uh, so anyway I gotta cut the glass myself when I get back here man I got, I got a glass cutter and I do the thing and I I've been cutting my own glass cuz I, I, I salvage the glass where I can and, and I was thinking about it because I have, I sand the edges of the glass so there's no sharpness, right? So if you got to take the glass out, you're not going to get cut. Because how many times you got cut on a picture frame, taking the glass out to clean it or whatever, and boom, you, you slice yourself. So I always sand the edge of the glass, dude. So it's, so it's not going to cut you. And, uh. I was like, that's what it is, dude. That's the difference right there, man. That's what, what makes me do what I do is because I sand everything. I make sure all my like, there's no sharp edges, man. And um, so I was doing that and I was feeling good about it, man. Because for whatever, for what it's worth, no one's going to cut their fingers on one of the picture frames I send out into the universe. It doesn't have to be any crazier than that. I don't know. So I came in, I'm, I'm on a super motivational kick. Like I got a bunch of, of stuff going. I, I got, I got another one of these bad boy oak ones I made. Bam, dude. These are rad, dude. Super bummed. I'm about to run out of the oak. I got I got two more made up like ready to uh, Ready to cut out But yeah, my whole wood scenes about to change because I'm running out of it. So, you know with the, with the whole theory of uh, Keep using everything till it disappears. I got I'm making some small frames So I got all super stoked with the the scraps from the like the inside, when I router them out, there's all these extra pieces, so I'm making that into some smaller frames. And yeah, man, stoked because, again, I, I, I talk about it a lot in these videos, it's always about having the low frequency, the low points, the downer points, and getting through those that allow you to know it's gonna be okay. I mean, realistically, there's not much different today from yesterday, except it's today and not yesterday. And yet that the mood's better because I already kind of, so now I can just go up 
And uh, it kind of stokes me out, man. You know, it's always, the Dots actually route a custom order. Fired up on that. I hope the dude buys it, man. I don't care if he does it, man. It's one of those things, man. Like, I just can't be attached to the end result because that's future tripping, right? I have to just be attached to what's going on in the now. So I was actually sending the dude pictures of that frame and I got an order for like one of my little pieces of art, man. So like whatever, like that's the nowness, right? That's what the nowness is all about. Like I can't, I just can't worry about five minutes from now. I gotta just be right here, right now, present in everything that I'm doing. And yeah, like I'm kind of in the, in the flow, but I gotta go home because I'm on daddy duty tonight again. And uh, so I'm gonna clean up the shop here. I don't know if I was talking about it, getting my ritual back on of like, you know, putting everything back, spending 15 minutes just to reset all my stuff. So when I show up tomorrow, it's all ready to go, dude. And I don't have to be confused. I think it's really about just trying to do everything you can so that you're not confused. Confusion's really easy to have happen. That's why it's called confusion, right? I don't know, so I thought I would chime in on the next day, the flip side of it all here at the studio. Making headway, man. Like I said, there's not much different than yesterday except my attitude's different because I chose a different story for myself this morning. Right? Anyway, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I think I got, I got some stuff I need to get off my chest, so the next couple videos are going to be a little bit edgier, if you know what I mean. In fact, I'm going to make one of them right now when I'm done with this one. All right, keep the frequency high, people.